right into it. This is my own personal meatloaf recipe, vegan style. If you want to truly keep it vegan, uh, don't use an egg. Use this mixture of, it's called meat egg. It's uh, one tablespoon of the mix to two tablespoons of water, and it really works very well as a binder in replacement of, um, of an, a regular, you know, dairy egg. Uh, but again, the ingredients will be in the description below. So we're going to take our bowl, and we're going to take our impossible burger. This is the one that I really like the most and that has the most authentic uh, beef flavor. Of course, it's all plant-based and all natural. So you're going to put that into your bowl. And then to that, we're going to add our seasonings. And I really didn't measure for this recipe, guys, because uh, I want you to be able to do it to your own liking. Um, but I will tell you what what ingredients I did put in. So I put the little pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. And uh, right now I'm using the California style garlic powder, coarse ground with parsley. We really like garlic, so there's a considerable, considerable amount of garlic in there. And then I'm gonna use the McCormick onion powder. Um, again, use as much as, as you like. And then this is key. Uh, you wanna use one cup of cornflake crumbs. Okay, so you're going to add that to the mix, and then to that, we're going to cut it a little bit with a quarter of a cup of plain um, organic breadcrumbs. Okay, so then we're going to take our um, our meat egg, which we which we made in the beginning, and we're going to add that to the mix. And as you can see, it, it's it's almost exactly the same consistency um, as a dairy egg. So we're going to add that to it, and then we're going to take our fork. No, not yet. We're going to put in some almond milk. Okay, so any uh, non-dairy milk that you like, we're going to add that to the mixture. Um, this is going to give it a nice, nice moist flavor and keep the meat very, very moist. So you're going to put enough in there to give it the right consistency. And then you're going to just take a fork or your hands if you so desire, and you're just going to mix this up uh, really, really well to incorporate all of the ingredients. Okay, once you've mixed it all up, um, I'm going to take a little bit of ketchup. Again, give it a nice authentic meatloafy kind of taste. And I give it a good couple of squirts of the ketchup and put that right inside the mix. You can also add it, you can also brush it on top of the meatloaf before it goes in the oven. I like to put it in with the mix as well instead. Okay, so we're going to take our fork and we're going we're gonna to mix this up really good. And um, as you can see here, I, it's still a little bit dry, so I did take a little bit um, extra almond milk and I added it to the mix. And that's it's bringing it to more of the texture that I wanted. Okay, so just play with this recipe. You may have to make it a couple of times to get it exactly right um, and to your liking, but trust me, it is well worth it. So there we go. I made it into a nice little loaf. I put it in my Pyrex, Pyrex uh, pan. Um, the little white things that you see there um, obviously are not fat or gristle. It's all plant-based. It's some nuts and seeds and things. Okay, so to that we're going to take um, some Yukon gold potatoes and some baby carrots. I love to put this all around the meatloaf while it roasts in the oven. It's truly, truly delicious. So we're going to put our garlic powder, our onion um, actually, I didn't use onion powder. I, br I cut up some, I chopped up some sweet Vidalia onions, put that into the mix. A little salt, a little pepper, and then I drizzled over maybe, I'm going to say maybe a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, then we're going to take our fork and we're going to mix that up really, really well, incorporate all the flavors. And then once we've incorporated all the flavors, um, I'm going to just put it all around the meatloaf before it goes in the oven. So we take a good handful and just put it all around the meatloaf. And it cooks in with all the juices and it's, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Okay, so we get that all around the, the meatloaf. We're going to pop this in the oven at 350 and it's going to cook for a good hour and a half. Um, and then I, we like our potatoes really crispy. so. Oftentimes, I'll take the meatloaf out, put the potatoes back in, let them crisp a little more. Okay, so um, after the timing, we are, this is our finished product. Delicious, delicious, nice golden brown meatloaf. Again, the potatoes, I did pop them back in the oven. 
a little bit longer just because we like them really crispy. They're definitely done here. Little, you know, they're soft, but we like them really brown. So I'm taking my meatloaf out before I pop the potatoes back in. And I'm just going to show you how nicely this meatloaf slices. And it's absolutely, absolutely delicious. We serve, I serve this. I had some leftover Brussels sprouts with dates that I roasted. Um, I'll put that recipe um, in, in the la it, towards the end of the video. Um, I had some in my in my fridge, so we're gonna we're gonna have that along with potatoes. So here's the potatoes after they've crisped it a little bit longer, and we're gonna just go ahead and we are going to plate this up. So we got our plate. We're gonna take our meatloaf. We're gonna take some of the Brussels sprouts that I had in, in the fridge, heated them up, and then we're going to take our potatoes and our carrots, and put that there too, and there is dinner, and it's all plant-based, healthy for you, and vegan. There you go. Some comfort food. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, join our little tribe, and um, come back for some more healthy recipes, some lifestyle tips, all kinds of good stuff. So in the meantime, I'll see you next week. Be well and be safe. Bye.